Anna here. Welcome in the first part of my tutorial on how to make big fat uh, travel album in the shape of suitcase. I will be using Chippy's album base from Mintai Papers and it has a shape of suitcase and it has um, six solid pages like this one you can see on the screen and one intricate page that is only like an outline with the belts Mm, and I will be adding it later. I will be using two solid pages and I will make my own inner pages of the album. So I'm only making the album base, uh, the cover of the album. And I'm also working with this super fun jeans uh, pattern <laughs> <coughs> fabric. This one is from Craftelier and it's made for uh, creating the album so it has a thin layer of, pa of paper on the other side. I uh, cut the paper uh, into the size of uh, the fabric into the size of the suitcase adding uh, two centimeters on each side uh, so I can wrap it around the cover and as you can see uh, the suitcase has those four uh, decorative corners and the handle so it's not so easy to wrap it around the uh, paper so I cut it um, uh, this um, fabric uh, in the areas where uh, all the bumps on the cover are and I'm also trying to kind of wrap it around the handle <clears throat> and so I must tell you this is my first uh, cover in such intricate sides uh, a shape I am not a pro here so I'm just trying uh, to figure out how to do it uh, and I decided to cut the uh, fabric so I can push it uh, under the can handle and then trim off the uh, two other parts this one and other one and I will add it on the other side later so do not throw it away and I am using the glue from Craftelier it's also a uh, transparent glue so uh, you won't have any white marks on the fabric and it's quite liquidy so it's easy to apply and it's called block glue I think so it's I think it's a vinyl a vinylic adhesive uh, clear drying glue glue so I'm uh, gluing everything down and as you can see I'm adding those two extra uh, pieces of fabric that I cut it out from the other side you almost are not able to see uh, where they connect so and we will be adding a paper uh, on the top of it so I'm not worrying about how it will look and now it's time to wrap it around the curved edges it's not so easy like with the <laughs> straight edges and you need to make this kind of teeth <laughs> around I don't know how to describe it the other way but do not cut into the very edge of the uh, chipboard add this like I have two millimeters uh, thick chip chipboard so I'm uh, finishing the teeth before the uh, two millimeters gap between the uh, cardboard and the edge of the tooth so I'm just trying to wrap it around and I need to cut out the excess uh, fabric because otherwise it would be very thick you would be able to wrap it around without cutting uh, pieces of fabric but as I said it would be very very um, thick and it wouldn't look good so I'm just using the craft knife to do it there are some tools I think I saw them in crafter yeah that have like a stencil where to cut the uh, triangles it's like a plastic element that you put your uh, car uh, cover inside and it guides you where to cut to wrap around uh, the curved corners I don't have this kind of tool so I needed to figure out it all by myself I'm using the knife but you can also use the scissors and I am also gluing around the uh, flat parts of the fabric and you will only see me doing on the one part of the cover but I did the, another one exactly the same way so you need to repeat it twice it took me a while but it was kind of <laughs> kind of fun to make it I don't know <laughs> I just like doing things like this it doesn't bother me to work like in focus and as you can see I'm also trimming the fourth corner and I will be able to wrap everything around so I'm starting with the corners and it doesn't look nice now but when you add the uh, paper that goes on the inside of the cover you won't be able to see all those 
um, all those connections between those triangles um, because the paper will uh, kind of come almost to the edges and uh, I like working with this glue when it comes to cover because you still have time to adjust things it doesn't glue right away and it gives you like this flexibility uh, and it also wets the paper on the fabric so the paper is more um, flexible I would say so I'm just wrapping around the fourth corner and you can see those whitish elements because of the nature of the jeans that has this white thread added I think when you would use like a different type of fabric it would look even better uh, than it looks on the jeans like type of the cover so this is how it looks after you uh, finish and you can see that the fabric is wrapped around each uh, edge of uh, the chipboard and i did exactly the same twice so i have two uh, exactly the same uh, elements and now it's time to combine the um, uh, the covers with the back of the album so i took um, a cardboard and i'm cutting um, the rectangle that will fit between the suitcases it won't be uh, for the full length only this part between the curved edges so it's like 13 by 6 centimeters as and you can see it fits between those uh, decorative edges and i'm using uh, another piece of uh, of the fabric i use for the cover and this time i'm measuring it like i'm adding um, centimeter and a half on top and centimeter in the half on the bottom um, so i will uh, be able to wrap it around and i'm also trimming the edges so i left like three centimeters on each side but you don't have to uh, leave that much i wasn't sure if uh, you know i will be doing it right so i just um i just prefer to leave more and then cut out later than uh, cut too little and be sorry for myself so as you can see i'm also using the um, silicone brush to spread the glue so i will not have those bulky paths around only the thin layer and i'm just wrapping around uh, the rectangle of uh, chipboard uh, on both edges so the uh, top and bottom will be secured and looking nicely you won't be able to see the cardboard edge and I'm working with the bone folder to make sure it all fits nice and with element like this I am able to glue it in between the pages so it will look like this and be sure to uh, level the chipboard with uh, the co uh, cover so do not glue it higher you will see me trying to adjust it um, with them. I added the glue here and it was like, oh, what I'm doing <laughs> because the glue should be on the other side. So I needed to remove the glue and wait a minute until it dries. Uh, so I won't make everything, um, you know, <laughs> uh, dirty in glue. And I'm adding the glue on the outer uh, sides, which is correct way to add the glue and I'm gluing it inside the cover. But as you can see, I'm pushing the uh, paper, um, the cardboard back, sorry, it's not so easy to describe it in English. Um, so it levels the cardboard on the covers like this. Um, and I'm uh, pushing the fabric in between so it creates nice, nice hinges. Uh, if I wouldn't do that, the back of the cover this middle element would be withdrawn so we would have like cover this edge that has the thickness of the cover and then the back side and then again the cover so this is how it looks uh, when you com combine it together and as i said we will mar uh, mask the uh, inner part um, with paper so you won't be able to see this i wanted to add something to close the album and i 
I didn't want to add any ribbons or something like that. So I took a piece of, uh, of the same jeans and uh, because it's quite thin, I'm folding it three times. So I mark two centimeters on each side and I'm kind of folding it three times to create this um, uh, thicker, uh, let's say ribbon. Um, so I'm just making sure it's all straight and I'm uh, doing two exactly the same strips and they are longer than I need them. I think they are more than uh, about 13 centimeters, but I'm just, uh, as I said, preferring to add more and trim later than cut too short and then be sorry for myself for all the work that was wasted. So I'm doing exactly the same uh, with the second one. I trimmed the paper, uh, I folded the paper uh, into two centimeter uh, strips uh, and I'm cutting it and I will add glue in the middle so they will hold like those nice two centimeter thick strips. And I'm doing it to close the album. Uh, you can think of other way of closing. I don't know, I don't have a big, um, uh experience here um so i'm just kind of on the learning curve uh, by myself i try to figure out things i haven't watched any tutorials on how to do it so maybe if i did it would make a lot easier and i'm adding the glue so i can have those strips that are three layers of fabric thick and they are nice on both sides. So I have jeans on the outer side and I have the jeans on the inner side. And I'm doing exactly the same with the second one. And I will use this to close my album. And I was thinking about what should I use, um, like maybe make um, magnets or something, but I was not sure if the magnets will hold with the uh, bulky album later so i decided to use velcros i just bought a set of white uh, one centimeter um, velcros so i knew they will be good for this album and i'm marking the areas where my um where my uh, closing strips should be i'm trying to aim in the same spot where those belts on the in intricate part are added and i'm just adding glue and you need to wait uh, for the glue to dry before you will start uh, working further because it will move so just add glue and i added the glue and left it for a while like i pressed it and waited for three minutes i think before i proceeded working because every time i was trying to bend it it moved so i have I have to think of the way to wrap it around. And as you can see, I added the strips in the inner part of the cover because I will add this intricate suitcase on the outer part and I didn't want it to interfere with that. I marked six centimeters uh, on the strips uh, because this is how thick my album uh, is. It's, well, it's not thick that <laughs> right now, but it will be later. So I will know how to, uh, you know, bend it and adjust it. And before I will add vel vel Velcros, I just need to be sure that this is exactly uh, how I, I would like the strips to be. And uh, the Velcros come in like two sheets. One sheet is... Uh, for the upper part and one sheet is for the lower part and just be sure to use uh, one of each um, one of each sheet because otherwise they will not connect so i added the first velcro they have like a double sided tape underneath but i wasn't sure that it will hold so later i used my sewing machine uh, to kind of secure them better but to be honest, it's not so easy to sew, uh, sew around and through the Velcros. I had like a very hard time to do so. Maybe there is another way. Uh, I am not a good at sewing, so I just only uh, work with paper. So I'm adjusting it and uh, it should glue on the other side. Uh, uh, because there is the sticky side up uh, but as I said it's not sticking that well that's why I needed to secure it with some other um, 
element, maybe a stronger glue or something like that. So I took a sewing machine and I sew around my cover and I sew around each strip. I also like rounded it around the Velcro. See, you can see how I tried to add a stitching through the Velcro so they will be secured. And here is the stitching around each, co each cover. Uh, on the front cover, you won't be able to see it. So I didn't add the stitching because it will be uh, covered with this intricate suitcase. And I also added stitching on the strips to make it more decorative. So this is how it looks. I will be back to you with the inner part of the cover and the pages in some other parts of this uh, tutorial. Thank you so much for staying with me and don't forget to subscribe so you will uh, have a notification when the other, another part of this tutorial appears and see you soon, very soon because I have everything recorded. Bye!